John, another comfortable win at the CBS Arena? Um, comfortable in the end. I think that the first half was pretty even. Um, Dan Rachel makes an outstanding save at 0-0. Tristan makes a brilliant tackle at 0-0. Uh, and then we get the first goal. And the old adage that goals change games was certainly the case today. But yeah, really pleased with some of the individual performances for Cal Perry and the rest of the back five were, were outstanding. Um, really good decision making for a young player. Um, I think they were a little bit older than us today, but it didn't really show on the pitch. Um, the players showed real good maturity and, like I say, put a really good performance in and it's another win at the CBS for us. It seems it's quite often that we're younger than our opposition at this level. Do you think with the six unbeaten now for the 21s, these young players are really growing into this level, they're really getting used to it? They are, and what they are doing is they're grafting. Um, the, the, we've got some good footballers, but as a, as a team and as a unit, they're really working hard for one another. When we lose the ball, they try and win it back really quickly. Uh, and then we've shown some quality over the last six or seven games in possession as well, which has been great to see. Um, at times today, our quality could have been better in comparison to probably the last couple of games, but we look really dangerous. Justin was a real threat up top, both aerially and, and running in behind. Um, Will Papaga was um, a handful also, you know, he was dropping in and receiving the ball uh, and getting turned and attacking their back four. Um, but it would be unfair to kind of pick anybody out really today. I thought it was a really good team performance against a slightly older team. And uh, no, it was, it was good to see. Just on Will Papaga, you must be happy to see his hard work that you just mentioned rewarded with two goals. Yeah, and he took his both penalties really well. I don't think the keeper had a chance. Um, my only criticism would be Will probably could add three or four today, um, feeding off Je uh, off Justin and also making some opportunities by himself, running solo because um, he's got that in the locker. But no, we I thought Harrison Nee was better in the second half as well. Great energy, ran forward really well. So overall, a really pleasing afternoon. And just a word as well on Dan Rachel made some really big saves there at the back. He did, considering Dan's only a, a first year scholar. Um, He's performed really well for the under-21 so far. It's probably ahead of schedule, if we're being honest, in terms of the games we expected him to play this season. So he's kind of been thrown in and it's been sink or swim, but he's, he's done great. He's a real character off the pitch. He's been training really hard uh, and he's developed no end this season. Four points off the top two and three games still to play and then a final. I take it they're really up for it in there. Yeah, lots to look forward to. We want to continue to try and do well in, in the league. Um, the boys have been, like I say, for the last month or two, have been have been bang on it in training every day and in games. The, the performances have been coming out, um, and we've also got a cup final to look forward to. So loads to play for, lots of football uh, to look forward to, uh, and I'm sure we'll finish the season on a high. So George, finally back from injury, how's that out there? Yeah, it was difficult. Um, obviously, when you haven't played for a while, you're you're a bit tired, but. I think my performance was good and obviously to get three points and a 3-0 win, a clean sheet, is, uh, it's brilliant. But on a personal note, you must be delighted to finally get back out there. Yeah, it's been a while. It's, uh, it's, it's quite frustrating to uh, not be playing. You um, you come to a lot of games, you watch them at the Rico, especially when they're playing at the Rico instead of the Higgs. It's, it's obviously a bit a bit annoying not to be playing, but then to get back out today, and I, I think I had about 10 minutes against Alve Church. It's nice and um, yeah, I'm look, looking forward to more games now. As you've just said, it's kind of been stop start all season really for your injuries. Are you looking forward to putting that all behind you now? Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, got injured at Telford. Uh, didn't really realise what the injury was until I came back to Cov in uh, in January. Uh, and then so it was three months out. And uh, hopefully no more. And uh, we can carry on for the rest of the season. How did you find out there? A bit of time to get up to speed or...? Uh, <laughs> I mean, today I felt felt all right, but Alv Church the other day was the one where I felt tough getting up to speed. I think yeah. the last few minutes there, I think they said it as I came off. I looked a bit tired, so it was probably about time I came off. So I was meant to only play 60 minutes, so to get, I think, 85 is decent for me. You mentioned the Alv Church game as well. Being part of a winning team that won the final last season, you must be looking forward to that one. Yeah, final's always exciting. I think, um, yeah, we, we've done well through the Senior Cup. We've had some tough games. Um, and then Alv Church there, we were riding our luck a bit at the end but uh, yeah another final I don't know where it's going to be but it's a good experience for everyone and uh, it will be a challenge against Starbridge and uh, we all look forward to it and then obviously last year's final there's still four points separating yourselves in the top two three games left 
slim chance but it's still last three games looking to get the maximum points yeah definitely three games 12 points we can get uh, oh sorry not 12 <laughs> uh, nine points uh, but uh, yeah it's, uh, it's you, you aim to do it of course but we, we've got to take each game I think we've got Ipswich on uh, Friday that's the focus at the moment and then if we end up getting in the playoffs then we'll deal with that when it, we get to it but only Ipswich at the moment so yeah